Welcome to Light Painting Brushes Live. Uh, this evening, I am honored to have Mr. Jason Page with us. So the founder and father of the Light Painting Brushes uh, system. And and I, I'm really excited to do this interview. It's actually an interview that um, I've been wanting to do for some time. So and and here it is. The day has come. So uh, with that, Jason, please introduce yourself. You know where you're from. Where where are you? Where where are you located at? Well, uh, I am in Jupiter, Florida, more specifically Hope Sound, Florida. It's just a little bit north of uh, West Palm Beach and uh, over on the east coast of Florida. Tell us, you know, how, how long have you been light painting and how did you first discover light painting? Um, since like 2004 is when I first kind of discovered light painting totally by accident, like most people uh, doing long exposure, <laughs> doing long exposures of the ocean. And uh, full moon night, bumped the camera, left a little light streak going across the frame. And that was it, man. It was, it was, I always call it my epiphany because literally it was, again, I've been taking photos. I've made surf videos and skateboard videos and stuff uh, prior to the, for years prior to my discovery of light painting. But um, I never realized that the camera was an instrument for recording light. And in that moment, it clicked in my head that the camera is an instrument for recording light. And that's what it was actually doing. And so from that point on, it was just all I wanted to use my camera for was to record light. I didn't care about documenting things anymore. It was just, I want to use it to record light. Yeah, that is awesome, man. Um, you know, so let's take it back, um, back to the very beginning. Um, you know, what was the, do you remember what the initial idea was that, that you had um, for what light painting brushes is today? Um, you know, how did that all begin? Um, so light painting brushes was born out of my necessity for creating my work, right? So I used empty bottles like this to create all the different like textures and stuff in my work when I was way back in the day when there were no light painting tools out there. Um, and I just wanted a way to connect different size flashlights mm -hmm. to water bottles because I would paint the water bottles or like here's one, like put gels on them and all kinds of stuff like that. And I just wanted a way to be able to connect these different size flashlights to the water bottles, right? So that's where the universal connector came from. And, and it, Again, it was really more for me than it was for, you know, to create like a tool company or any of that stuff. It was really just a way for me to cr create my own artwork. And then I think, you know, I showed it to a couple people and it just kind of took on a life of its own from there. Because then it, then I was like, oh, wait, maybe other people would want to use this too. And then it just kind of went from there. You, you know, and you hit on that. So, you know, how amazing of a feeling is it to know that you have brought your idea into the world and you've brought it into life and you have connected so many people together through light painting, you know, how, how is, how does that feel to you to know that you're responsible for that? You know, that's, that's pretty awesome. It's, it's a very, very good feeling. And, and I don't know how much this we should get into, but yeah, man, it just, it's a great feeling to be giving something positive to the world, like literally, giving light to the world um you know i remember meeting back in 2014 for the uh, world record attempt and uh you know i remember just being absolutely blown away um hearing you explain the universal connector um you know and how it would work with diy tools and all this different stuff that you could do um how did the other tools come into play like how did that transition from the universal connector over to the tools that you see today that just came from again minus my desire to create a specific texture or color or you know in my own work that's really how it all the original set of tools are like that's how it came to be it was just stuff i wanted for my own work you right know, and then it just turned into again just to be fully transparent like when I created the universal connector and the, the tools and stuff and put, and when I launched light painting brushes, like I didn't think people were going to want the tools. Like I thought people would just want the universal connector. Like I didn't really see the desire for that because I make all my own stuff. 
you know, I make all my own tools. I've done that my whole life. And I, I love that part about light painting, just that I like to tinker around and come up with different tools, different things. So that was really an important part of it to me for people to be able to do that. Right. So right. the, the tools that we make now are just, like I said, it's stuff that came from a desire of my own to create a specific color texture you know whatever of light or something I was trying to do in my own work and I was like oh like maybe other people want this and it just you know kind of went from there I, I don't know if I explained that well but no that's good you know it 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 hits on like like with me so and I think I can relate with a lot of people in this aspect you know I can always find stuff to like put over to the lens that's been kind of a staple of my work just you know, what can I put on the lens, you know, whether it's some kind of fractal or a cup or just, you know, what can I shoot through? But when it comes down to actually designing and making my own tools, I, I'm just, I'm at a loss. So I think that's such a cool element of light painting brushes is the fact that you have these tools already made um, to be, to get creative with. So yeah, you know, I can, I can relate to it in that way of, uh, you know, and I think a lot of, a lot of people probably have that similarity um, they just don't really create their own stuff. So, yeah. The other thing about that is that I didn't really foresee is people lack the time, space, or ability, right? So, right. and again, I'm fortunate that I have the ability to use my hands, make my own tools, you know what I mean? Have that kind of mindset of like, I want to create this thing, or, um, you know, I have the time to do it sometimes. Or, I mean, creating tools is not easy. You know what I mean? It takes definitely, it takes a lot of time. And, I mean, now that if, if I was on the other side of it, I would probably just go to like painting brushes and buy a tool too. You know what I mean? Spend 20 bucks, 25 bucks on a tool. And I don't have to sit here and do all this stuff. Cause I'm going to spend way more money just in like the process of making, you know, to create something that I could just go buy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh yeah, absolutely. I never really thought about it that way just cause I enjoy that process. But a lot of people are smarter than me and they just go, I'm not going to, spend 10 hours trying to make this thing that I can just go buy for 40 bucks, you know, it's right. So, yeah. But then again, it's not just some, uh, it's just, you know, throwing some random materials together and this and that, like these are high quality tools. So yeah. 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 I mean, the stuff we made, sell, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, yeah, it's, it's high quality. So yeah, it's, yeah. The stuff we make now. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm just talking about like when I would, throw stuff I was throwing stuff I still do you know I still right. throw stuff together to make my own tools or whatever and then that eventually nowadays with like any brushes kind of turns into a product it's like whatever you know if I'm making something and it, it can look like total garbage and be a bunch of crap that's thrown together but then it eventually works itself out to be like a tool and we also have the tool wizard Johnny Griffin oh, man. Nowadays, <laughs> you know so he's blowing minds with all the crazy stuff he's coming up with and again I you know we wouldn't have half the cool stuff we have if it wasn't for him throwing ideas at me and then we work it out together and come up with all kinds of cool stuff. So Absolutely. You, know, you gotta give props to Johnny for all the crazy stuff he's coming up with. You know, and it, it's so awesome how just everything, you know, there's a time and a place for everything in, in your life. So it, it it's so neat how all these elements, you know, kind of fell into place, you know, like this with Johnny, you know, and your idea and all that and how it just it just fits. It all just fits so well together. So, um, you know, the next question, and I know that this comes down to personal preference, um, you know, but what light painting brushes tool would you say is the most underrated tool, if we want to say that, for creating light painting? Um, and again, you know, obviously that comes down to a personal preference between, you know, different different artists. But what is your most underrated tool, you would say? The portrait light, hands down. I yeah, the portrait light or the color hoods, I think. Those two, in every single portrait I do, I'm using the portrait light. Right. That one, and and in literally just about every single light painting I create, I'm using one of the color hoods or all the color hoods. Right. So I think those two tools are probably the most under, not necessarily underutilized, but just underappreciated tools, maybe. Right. You know. I I think too. Uh, you know, the neat thing about the uh, portrait light. Um, I think if that tool was in more photographer's hands and they actually seen the capability of that tool um because gosh to, to i'd love to see a photographer just randomly give him a portrait light and a speed light and see the difference and see how you're able to control the shadows and how you're able to to move the light and just it's it's so cool 
And it's such a better tool for portraits than a speed light. It mm -hmm. really is. So absolutely. Uh, Again, that fall off you can get of those shadows and stuff like that. And the yeah. control you have over it when you're you can slow down on certain parts or change the angle. It just there's so many things you can do with that literally handheld light over a model. Right. It's, it is, yeah, you get such a beautiful light with that portrait light. It's like nothing else, you know. You know, it's it truly not, is like nothing else. I mean, else. not only that, you can add gels to it. You know, right. you wanted yeah. to add different kinds of color and elements. And yeah, it's, it's, it really is such a great tool, man. It's one of my favorites for sure. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> um, so, you know, all kinds of, all kinds of people have had the opportunity to use their very own light painting brushes tools. And I don't know if you could answer this or not, mm -hmm. but uh, who is the most famous person to date that you know of that has their own light painting brushes tools? Like who is, who's reached out? Uh I mean, I've seen Dennis Rodman actually did some light painting back in the wow, day. Yeah, that's awesome. with him. But I think he did it through someone else. I can't remember who that was, but I know Drew Carey. I think I told you from The Price is Right. right. I think we talked about that pre previously. Uh, yeah, Drew Carey. Um, he's actually a photographer and a light painter. And he went, I guess he was on a trip in Africa, like a safari. Uh -huh. And then he, he did some light painting over there and then came and got, literally got everything I make. Um, so That's I haven't seen any of his work with it yet. I don't know if he even created anything with them, but yeah, that that would probably be the biggest name that I can recall right now. Right. Yeah. And how cool is that? You know what I mean? So cool. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you are responsible for pioneering numerous light painting techniques. Can you share with us your personal favorite technique using the light painting brushes tools? Like, is there one that stands out that you do? Um that you've created that's your, your favorite um i like my light prints a lot but that's not one that i've that technique is not one that i've shared yet and you know of a couple others yes i do <laughs> that i have oh, that man. i haven't shared <laughs> those are honestly my favorite ones um but sometimes like i don't share them all of them because i still have more things to work on right you know, there's more i want to do with a certain technique before i like share it but as far as like an image and just a rant just the technique that I'm in most am in love with is simply light painting a scene, like not necessarily like creating anything in it, right? But just light painting a scene where I go through using the color hoods and just paint the different colors. You know, I think the painted forest um, series that I do is super significant to me, but right. uh, those are some of my favorite images. And, and again, those are, it's literally just walking through and, touching things with light you know just the way that you go through and you can see where i was in an image you know what i mean right. oh yeah and, absolutely yeah it's 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 really cool to me i love that aspect of it so i would say that the painted forest um it seems like a super simple one but it's really like the most significant to me just that right. series and that that way of light painting it's it's so cool to watch you light paint because you know i've had I've had the opportunity and been around long enough to be around a lot of different light painters. And, and I say this all the time. Um, you have the most amazing spatial awareness of any other light painter I've ever seen. It, it, it's just so, it's so unique the way that you do it. And, you know, with hitting on you, you are amazing with those lenses, just the way that you cast that light. And there's just this evenness flow to it. And it's just, it's really cool to watch you light paint and you can pick up um you know different kind of things so it's neat to hear you say it thank you very much and you know i think i suck so yeah I appreciate it. <laughs> oh man yeah oh. <laughs> look at this image but oh man yeah i don't like yeah. this i don't like that but it's it's freaking brilliant you know so yeah. thank you but yeah i got a lot i've got a lot to learn <laughs> right yeah. um so for everybody watching i i, I want to read something um so this is your very own words. Uh, the Universal Connector got its name from an idea. In our light painting family, we have friends from every section of the planet, every walk of life, every religion, every eth ethnicity. We are all family because we have something in common, a Universal Connector. The love of light, the light painting brushes system was designed to make light painting tools more accessible for everyone. It was designed to encourage innovation and creativity and with hope spreading the light, we'll build new friendships and grow light painting art form. 
do you feel your contribution to the light painting art um, from your created tools has has achieved what you set out to accomplish initially? Um, you, you know, there's a there's a lot of key sediment words there that are really personal, and and I'd like to. Do you feel like you've you've contributed that? Like you've yeah, I feel like. With yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like we're on the on the right road. Absolutely. I mean, again, man, you know me. There's so much more I want to do right. in this community. There's so much more I want to bring to the world. There's so much more light to share, you know, and there truly is. And uh, I think we're on the right path, definitely. You know, it's it's great, man, seeing like Christina sharing with her with her students. You know what I mean? Or you know, just there's so many different people that have done so many beautiful things with light and using my tools. Again, we talk about this, just seeing people create every one of those, every single light painting brushes tool has gone through my hands, right? Every single one I've created it, I've put it together, you know, so every single one of those tools has gone through my hands. So every light painting that I see that has a light painting brushes tool in it, I feel like I'm a part of that image, you know what I mean? Because it has literally gone through these hands, you know, to, to create that tool and put it together. So, I mean, that feeling alone is just dude, the most incredible feeling. Like, I feel like I'm actually giving back, doing something good for the world, you know, like spreading light in the world. And, you know, that's, that's literally all I care about doing nowadays. You know, it's like, I just want to, I want to leave the world a brighter place than than when I got here. So that's literally all I care about doing. Man, so. you've left your mark. You you have, and you continue to leave your mark, man. And um, I hope that, I don't think a lot of people may not understand that or even know that about the light painting brushes tools that um, how personal they are. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I hope whoever watches this and they they learn learn about that, you know, that's, that's a really cool element of light painting brushes. These are how personal they are. So really cool, man. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, what hopes for the future and dreams do you have from here with light painting brushes or or how do we within the community, you know, help support light painting brushes moving forward? You know, what what can we do here in the community to make this as successful as it can be? It's just uh engaging, man, sharing sharing the images, you know, helping sharing techniques, sharing ideas. It's just you know, the most beautiful thing about our community, we talk about it all the time, is the willingness to share, to share techniques, to share tools, to share settings. A lot of that in the photography community, you know, people don't like to share that much, you know, right. but in the light painting world, it's just, maybe it's just because of the spirit of light and what in the medium we work with and all that stuff It's we want to share, you know, we want, we want more people to light paint. It's very common in the community, you know, to want more people in our community, more creativity. Man, it's crazy. You know, there's, it's, it's an art form where you can create something, a technique, a tool, whatever that has never been done before. You know what I mean? Like every day in our community, there are people creating images that have never been done before. Take your sheet technique, right? That sheet technique that you came up with, dude. I use that all the time. When you showed me that years and years ago, I was like, holy crap dude i, like, I remember <laughs> yeah dude i was yeah. my mind was blown dude but look what dennis just did with it he just had a big show and using your sheet technique right, right? and i see people using it all the time and that's it's just something so freaking beautiful about that like just i don't know this community is amazing and how everybody shares and again look at that right you could have kept that technique to yourself you could have been like right. i'm gonna share it right but you shared it and look at all the beauty that's brought to the world. Like so many creative visions have been done because you share that technique. As I, I love that about the, the light paint community. And as far as like how it grows, we just keep doing that, you know, keep, keep right. sharing, keep engaging, keep a positive, you know, inclusive community and it just keeps growing, man. It does, man. And you're, you're a huge part of it and, and a huge con contributor of that. So, you know, thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, man. You do so much for the community, man, too. I should be interviewing you. We should right. switch this <laughs> up, dude. And I should be asking you questions, but yeah, dude. Um, yeah. I, I appreciate you and I appreciate this community and I'm just happy to be in it, man. I'm just be happy to be in it and happy to be spreading light throughout the world, dude. Awesome. 
Well, thank you again, Jason. Um, you know, that that was a great interview. Really appreciate you. And again, you know, I just want to personally thank you for the opportunity to be involved with Light Painting Brushes as I am. So, um, you know, to be a part of your dream and your your vision is is it's honor. It's an honor to me. So um, thank you, man. Really appreciate you. Yep. Right back at you, brother. I appreciate you and all you do for for me and the community and and everything, man. So it's a beautiful thing. And uh, I'm glad to be here, dude. Awesome, man. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, dude. All right. See you.